Happy Friday, everyone. So as we enter into the weekend and we um, finish up this week, I want you to know that I have been praying for each and every one of you and praying for um, God to have just met you in some really unique ways this week. Our scripture reading for tonight is one of my favorites. It's Matthew 11 verses 28 through 30. Jesus tells us, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So a couple of years ago, when I was at Denver Seminary, I went on a backpacking trip for three days um, up in Colorado. It was beautiful where we were. We went, um, we were in, I'm trying to think what it was called, like Paprika Lake, Ruby Lake, Blue Lake. Um, it was actually outside of Grand Lake, Colorado, which is a very large lake, but I went with some good friends from seminary, some guys and some gals, um, and we were all equipped in different ways, um, meaning that some of us were more athletic and some of us were not as athletic. And I remember just the backpackers pack being so heavy. So at the beginning of our hike, when we um, were first starting out and things were pretty, um, we were in the wooded area, things were flatter, everything was fine having that heavy pack on my back. But once we started to get up to um, a little bit above tree line by those like really pretty alpine lakes um, where the marmot animals love to be, things got heavier. And I felt like I could feel every single piece of weight that was on my back. And my friend, Nathaniel, um, who I would say was like the Bear Grylls of the group, he was just um, pretty much running up the trail with his backpack. He came back and said, can I take some things out of your backpack and can I carry them for you? And there's always a level of pride that anyone has, even somebody who I consider myself to be pretty humble. Um, but there's always that level of pride where you're like, no, you know, I got this, I'm fine. But it was so steep and it was like switchback rocks to get up to this alpine lake. And I just said, yes, sure. And he took what felt like bricks out of my backpack. Um, it was some of the meals that we had brought. And I remember, you know, he took a pack of um, like my sleeping bag that was like in a compressed bag. And I remember when I put my backpack back on after he had taken some stuff off, I felt like a new person. But the thing that is so important in that story and in the story in Matthew 11 that Jesus invites us into is I had to accept the invitation to take the burdens and take the weight away from me. I think so many of us deal with pride, with the inability to ask for help, with the inability to really share what's going on with the inability to admit that we need somebody to come alongside us and be Jesus to us. Um, so the rest of that backpacking trip was wonderful. It was an adventure. Um, I remember those pesky marmots tried to eat our food and get into our backpacks when we were sleeping and we caught fish. And, um, the second day when we went down a really steep incline, it was a lot easier to handle all that weight in my backpack. Um, but I am so thankful that I had community to come alongside me in a moment where things were really hard that had the ability to take some things off my back, literally. Um, so I would ask you today, what are some things that are burdening you? 
What are some things that are weighing you down? Um, what could you ask somebody to help you with? What could you um, potentially share with somebody safe in your life that would maybe make you feel better after sharing it? And what are ways that your community members can literally come alongside you and um, make your plate a little bit lighter? Um, I think that it is a time where it's really easy for us to stay isolated. It's not as easy as it is, you know, in a non-pandemic year um, where we just naturally see people all the time. And so it's harder because we do have to be a little bit more intentional with reaching out. But I would encourage you to be intentional um, with your people, with your community, with your church family about what you need. Um, take some inventory of the burdens that you're carrying, of the weight that you have, um, and see where there are places and things that you can let go of. Um, one of the things that I learned in ministry is it's not a sense of um, pride or embarrassment when you can't do everything. You're literally not meant to do everything. Um, Jesus had people that helped him with ministry and came alongside him in ministry. And so if Jesus did that, then of course we need, we need help along the way. So um, I hope that that gives you some inspiration for things to be thinking about this weekend. Um, and I pray that you get some rest and you remember to give Jesus your burdens. Um, I love you and I will see you all on Sunday for church. We live stream starting at 930. Bye.